All right, so in the last lesson, we got a little bit of an introduction to machine learning, and we talked about two primary types of modeling, supervised learning and then unsupervised. We are now gonna kind of jump into the idea of supervised modeling. And before we get into really exploring different algorithms, we wanna talk about the actual modeling process. And it's important because supervised learning, um, it's, it's not a quick one-shot sprint in producing these models and moving forward and implementing them. We actually have to do a lot of exploration to try to find which algorithm is gonna perform best with the data that we have, um, how do we need to kind of tweak or fine tune our model so that it actually performs best and can actually be applied to new data. And this is a whole process in itself. And it usually takes quite a bit of time. And an important thing is to make sure that we do it correctly. So we're gonna start talking about different components of this process. And primarily in this lesson, we're gonna hit on the idea of splitting our data. How do we start fitting models within R? How do we start making predictions? And then how can we use those predictions to evaluate the performance of our model? Now there's a few other key components that we're gonna hit on uh, in later modules to help us have a uh, more refined process and a better uh, performing um, model that will generalize to other data. And that includes resampling and also how do we kind of address this issue of what we call a bias variance trade-off. But we're gonna wait on that. We're gonna hit on that in the next module. For right now, we just wanna hit the basics of splitting data, training or fitting our models, making predictions with those models, and then how do we evaluate the performance? All right, so to follow along in this lesson, we're gonna use two different data sets. We're gonna use the AIMS data, uh, where we are predicting a sales price of homes. And then we're also gonna use the attrition data. And this has to do with making predictions on if an employee will um, basically leave the company or not. Now, one thing you'll notice when we import the data, you can see this highlighted code here. Um, what that is doing, it's actually changing our response variable, which is attrition, uh, to be a factor. And this is important. When we do any kind of classification models, we need to have our response variable um, set up as a factor. So that's why you see this line of code in there and why you see it highlighted. We will see this in future modules um, that we uh, work when we work with classification models. So just realize that's why we are doing it. All right, and just to kind of give you a quick glimpse or reminder what this data looks like, um, we talked about the idea of regression problems and that's where we are trying to predict um, some continuous variable. And for the AIMS data, we are trying to predict a home sale price as a function of all these other characteristics of the home, which can include lot size, the type of streets it's on, the neighborhood it's in, uh, the house style, the year um, it was built, and so on. But we see that the actual target variable of interest, the sale price, is a continuous number, right? It basically is gonna range anywhere from, I believe, about $12,000 up to $755,000 in this data set. Now, for classification problems, we're trying to address basically, um, usually like a binary response. Does something happen or does it not? Does somebody click on an ad or do they not click on it? Or in this case, will an employee leave, which is what we're calling attrition, will they leave yes or no? And you can see, since we change this variable to a factor, we now have um, our table is saying that this, this variable is in fact a factor. So these are the two data sets we're gonna be using as we kind of explore this uh, idea of how do, we, um, how do we implement a sound process of training a model and evaluating a model. 